Venture is the 40th hero in Overwatch 2, and I think they're the best designed DPS hero we've ever had since Tracer. Some of you might be unfamiliar with the old DPS Doomfist kit, but essentially, it was very cyclical, low range, and had a ton of burst damage. It was very common for low rank Doom players to feed on their engagers, and at high level play, after the introduction of Rolllock, we had the double shield rush comp that played around Doom's ability to deal damage past the shielding. Fast forward to 2024, 4 years later, and we have a hero symbolic of Tromper from Plants vs Zombies Garden Warfare. If you know, you know. And it seems that they're universally loved by the masses, giving players that feel of old Doomfist but with more range and less mobility. But this is an educational channel, at least it mainly is. So in this video, I'm going to go over some cutting edge early venture advice so you get the head start come season 10, and I'm going to go over what myself and other coaches have said about the best compositions for venture, and ultimately, I'm going to answer whether venture is going to be meta come season 10. So strap in, there's a lot to go over here. In terms of Adventure TLDR, you're short to medium range, high burst damage, cyclical, brawl dive DPS. There's a lot of stuff going on there, but I'll break all those down in my full venture guide. Very broadly speaking, your burrow is an engagement tool and your dash is a disengagement tool, but again, there's a lot more nuance there. You play venture for their burst damage combos, short range dueling capability, simple staging, and the added sustain that brawl dive comps like the Lucio Kiri Doom stuff thrives in. Your burrow is also pretty telegraphed, so playing in a Lucio based comp is pretty preferable to speed up your staging before a dive. Before I continue, just a quick plug of my coaching, one hour with me can single handedly change the trajectory of dozens if not hundreds of hours you put into the game down the line. So if you want to stop losing games, hit up the top link in the description. Now in terms of tips, I actually made a TikTok distilling some of the most important advice for venture, which I'll quickly go over here. Firstly, when you're in an actual engagement, you need to try and dual dash your target out of LOS from their team. I gave an example where I dual dashed Mercy away from her team, so she couldn't just Guardian Angel away to safety. There was also another example too, where I baited the Iliari to push me, then I dual dashed her beyond her pylon's LOS. This is why dual dash is a really important dueling tool that gives you the edge in short range one on ones. There's of course the combos and animation cancels that I'd be silly not to go over. There's the shoot dash shoot melee combo which does 330 damage and even if you miss a shot, you still hit that 250 breakpoint. I actually think this aspect of venture is going to be tweaked before they're released two weeks time, but we'll see. In combination with your burrow, you can deal up to 440 damage and the important part is that it's burst damage. If you're just doing the burrow, shoot and dual dash, that's already 290 burst damage. I'll get onto this later, but I think Venture is going to take up Echo's role in the dive comp. With the trade off is Echo has more ranged consistent pressure, but Venture has more sustain and more immediate burst damage. I think people also know the Venture rollout by now, but in case you don't, the fastest way to get out of spawn is to burrow, dash, exit burrow and dash again. This is quicker than just immediately dashing out of spawn, not only because the cooldown when dashing during your burrow is 4 seconds, but for some reason, dashing underground makes you go further than dashing normally. I can't record this because at the time of recording, Venture is locked, but you do get a few extra meters. I didn't really speak about how you use excavation in that TikTok, but I think this ultimate is going to be special in that how you use it drastically changes depending on the comp you play against, and the map you're on. For example, if you're playing against a brawl comp without a shield, like a Mauga, or if a Ramacha wastes his shield, this is pretty potent to just use as a zoning tool to begin the fight, like a Bap Window, Katsune Rush, or a Coalescence. But if you're playing against a Reinhardt, Sigma, or a good Ramacha, that might be difficult to do. So using it later in the fight, or using it from a different angle, or just not using it down main and using it to just win a duel, become better ways of using the ultimates. Now let's talk about Venger's viability in comps. Just like a lot of the recent hero releases in Overwatch 2, I think Venture can be played in a variety of different hybrid comps. I don't think it's a hot take at all to say that Venture is probably worse when paired with more ranged heroes. For example, a Venture, Hanzo, Mercy, Sigma, Zen comp probably doesn't suit Venture's strengths that much, but a comp like that could certainly work in ranked, and if you want to go down the hybrid route and still be able to do more things, like directly contest the enemy backline, Venture is still certainly playable. For now, most coaches generally agree that Venture is going to slot into the Lucio Kiri or the Lucio Moira comps that we're seeing a lot of now. 
I tweeted out that Winston Traitor Venture Lucio Akiri is gonna be good, which was based off one scrim, and while other coaches like Coffee have tweeted that Venture synergizes better with Sombra than Tracer, I think everyone can agree that they slot pretty comfortably in that Lucio Akiri or that Lucio Moira comp. I think OC also tweeted that Venture feels very similar to Reaper, and I completely agree. I think the comps Reaper is good in, so is Venture. Obviously, we need time to see this, but I think Venture Zara could be decent, or you bubble Venture when they exit Borrow, or you could bubble their Drill Dash. I don't really see Venture being played that much with Lucio Bap comps, because you usually have at least a May or Symmetra for that utility, and then you have a hard hit scan like a Sojourn for that one shot. So it's going to be hard to see how Venture can compete in the more traditional Brawl comp. The only thing I can think of is back in Flash Ops, where teams ran May Reaper, and I think in that case, May Venture would be a better comp. Mainly because Reaper just got forced out way too easily and way too much in that May Reaper comp, because he hasn't got a bubble. I also think maps are going to be a pretty limiting factor to Venture. If there's too much high ground, like Dorado or Gibraltar, and all the sightlines are too long and wide, like in Junkertown or Havana, I don't see Venture getting much playtime. Teams would probably rather play Echo on Dorado and Gibraltar, and harder hit scans or way more mobile flankers on Junkertown or Havana are again, probably preferable. However, if the map has accessible high ground, medium to short range sightlines, plenty of tight and narrow lanes to get value out of your excavation, all of which is like King's Row, then I think Venture is a pretty solid pick, as well as the other Flashpoint maps too. To summarise, me and most coaches generally agree that Venture's going to be most viable in some kind of Brawl Dive hybrids, so the comps that we've recently seen in OWCS. Now is Venture going to be meta? If you want my truthful answer, and to be honest my instinct, probably not. Now Venture is most likely going to get an extra set of changes before they're officially released in two weeks time, and there's a chance the devs repeat what they did with Malga and Gigabuff the character before release, which is the best argument for Venture being broken. The only hero that either wasn't broken on release, or weren't immediately buffed to be broken, was Lifeweaver. Sojourn, Queen, Iliari, and Kiriko were broken on release, and while Malga and Ramatra weren't broken the second they dropped, they both immediately got buffs that made them S to A tier. And my instinct is telling me that Venture's gonna be in one of those tiers. However, there's a lot more competition at that DPS spot. If we're asking the question of whether Venture's gonna be meta, we have to ask the question of whether Venture's gonna bring more value than either Sojourn or Tracer. Two incredibly strong DPS heroes at the moment, that's just gonna be hard for Venture to top. Truthfully, I think Venture is going to sit around that Echo Sombra spot in terms of viability. In other words, Venture is definitely going to be viable in a lot of different situations, and maybe even optimal for some teams. But I don't think they're going to replace the status quo of Tracer Sojourn, unless either hero gets nerfed in two weeks time, or we shift to a Lucio Bat meta, where Tracer just lacks synergy in. Anyways, that's it for the video. I hope you got some valuable advice on Venture, got a better grasp on the comps and the maps they're best in, and where they can't really stack up to the best DPS at the moment. Stay tuned for my Venture Guide in a few weeks, and until next time.